Hey guys, it's Eric and this is my review of the Voyager Carry-On from Level 8. The Voyager Carry-On model is currently offered in two color options, yellow-black, which is the color that I have, and also in settled down color as well. I believe there are plans to add more colors, but right now these are the only two color options that they have available. The Voyager has a carrying capacity of 43 liters and weighs in at 8.1 pounds, which makes it very lightweight. The carry-on has dimensions that measure in at 21.3 by 15.1 by 9.8 inches, which makes it a little bigger than the recommended carry-on dimensions provided by airlines like Delta, American Airlines, or United. So just something to keep in mind if you do get this carry-on. Now from my personal experience, it's not that much bigger than the recommended dimensions, and if it's like within an inch, you're more than likely going to be okay taking it on most airplanes. That's just my honest opinion, but if you still have reservations about the size, then you may want to look at a different carry-on instead. I will tell you though that a lot of the carry-on models out there are not going to be exactly the recommended airline dimensions either. Moving on now to the exterior. The main body of the carry-on is composed of a Macrolon polycarbonate hard shell, which makes it both durable and lightweight at the same time. Polycarbonate is the material you would typically find on most premium luggage. So now you can see why the carry-on is priced the way that it is. This is the kind of material you want on a suitcase. There is a carrying handle on both the top and side of the luggage. This gives you multiple options on how you can lift the carry-on, which is definitely convenient when traveling. On the other side where the spine of the suitcase is located, there are four protruding polycarbonate feet that allows you to rest a carry-on on its side without it falling over. There's also the same polycarbonate feet located on the back of the suitcase which serves the same purpose when laying the carry-on on its back side. Moving back to the top, you have a TSA approved combination lock that you can set by following the steps provided with the instruction manual that comes with the carry-on. Also on top, you can find the trolley handle that can be adjusted at 4 different heights, which is another convenient feature to have as it makes the trolley handle highly adjustable. As you can tell by looking at the trolley handle, you can see that it's wider than your typical trolley handle. This was done to increase the carrying capacity of the interior storage. For those of you who have bags like a backpack with a trolley sleeve, then the trolley handle would definitely be too wide for your bag. So just another thing to consider if you decide to go for the Voyager carry-on. At the bottom of the suitcase, there are four 360 degree silent wheels. These type of wheels are super convenient when rolling the suitcase as it makes it much easier to maneuver around in. From my testing, they are indeed silent and roll smoothly as well. Last but not least, there is a single zipper down the center of the carry-on that leads to the interior of the suitcase. The interior storage is divided into two sides. We'll start on the right side with the large mesh zipper storage compartment, which is pretty spacious. It doesn't have any compression straps like some other suitcases, but you still should definitely be able to pack a good amount into this side alone. On the opposite half of the carry-on, there is another large zipper storage compartment. This time on the cover, there are two additional smaller zipper pockets. One designed specifically for items like your toiletries with its transparent plastic pocket, and beneath that, there is a mesh pocket for storing other small items as well. Now unzipping the cover lid, we see additional storage similar to the other half of the suitcase that's meant for your larger items that you may be carrying. And that pretty much wraps up all the features of this suitcase. Now here are my overall thoughts on the Voyager carry-on. I'll start with the look and design. The Voyager has a very minimal look to it. The unibody design and rectangular shape gives the suitcase a very streamlined and smooth look that makes it aesthetically pleasing. In terms of build quality, I thought they did a great job in this department as well. I did not find any kind of manufacturing flaws during my inspection. From the exterior to the interior, this is a very well built suitcase, and with the price you are paying, this is the type of quality you would expect. Now for the overall functionality and usability of this suitcase, I also thought level 8 did an outstanding job in this category. Everything from the 360 degree wheels to the additional stability feet for laying the suitcase down are really convenient features to have. Even the storage pocket for your toiletries or makeup I thought was a nice feature to have as it shows the attention to detail and consideration with the user in mind. The main important factor for a suitcase, especially one of smaller size like a carry-on, is of course the carrying capacity and I will say that this suitcase is very spacious and is able to carry a good amount. And depending on how efficiently you pack your items, you can definitely pack much more if needed too. Overall, I want to say that this is a solid carry-on suitcase. It has good build quality and it's going to be durable as well with the polycarbonate hard shell body. It also has a spacious interior that you can use to pack a lot of items as well. On top of all that, it also has really convenient features that just makes your life that much easier as a traveler. 
There's only so much you can talk about when it comes to a suitcase. Whether you get the Voyager carry-on or not is up to you. I'm just here to inform you from my perspective. Also feel free to use my link in the description for a discount on your purchase and with my promo code you'll get an additional discount on top of that as well. Alright that's it for me today. My name is Eric, as always thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out.